Okay, welcome to this video, which is entitled, as you can see, How to Watch ITV Live Abroad. Okay, um, ITV Live Abroad. Um, now, as you probably know, just like the BBC and all the other UK TV stations, um, ITV has a media player. It's called the ITV Hub. However, if you try and access it anywhere um, outside the UK, you'll get blocked. Um, so let's, it's um, Friday morning now, let's see if we can go and enjoy the Jeremy Kyle show. And we'll get this message if we try and play it. Um, it redirects to a slightly different site. What it's doing is checking my IP address, seeing that it's not a British one, and you get this little message. There's something there about ITV Essentials, which I'm not really sure. I've never checked out, um, but that's probably a pay-as-you-go service that you can pay to get in um, Europe. So it might be worth investigating. Uh, I don't do that. I use a VPN, and I have been using it for um, many, many years now. The same one. Uh, I, I, the advantage, one of the big advantages, the uh, VPN is you can use it for ITV, but you can also use it for um, BBC. I also use it to watch um, US Netflix, which is way better than the um, Netflix I have access to. Okay, right, so let's see this program. It's called Identity Cloaker. I'm showing you on a computer, it works on a laptop. The computer software is on any sort of PC-based thing, but you can also connect to your account via a, a smartphone or a, a tablet. Uh, it takes a little just manual setting up. It's not difficult, though. Um, very easy to do. The computer, you'll just use the software here. So here it is. It's called Identity Cloaker. It sits in my taskbar there. And you can see it comes with loads of um, different servers. They're all included in the subscription. So you subscribe to Identity Cloaker and um, you get the software or you can use it manually on these different devices. But these are all the servers, which are effectively what you're paying for to have these fast VPN servers. Now what you do is you connect to one of those and instead of seeing your real location, it sees the location of the VPN server. So doing this, you can effectively open up loads and loads of websites that are normally what we call region locked. So for instance, US Netflix, you can only get in the US, but if you use a US VPN, you can see it there. Um, ITV is exactly the same. It's region locked to the UK, so I need a UK server. So let's just show you this. Uh, I'm going to the UK, so I've got a UK IP address. I blur these out. Um, it's best to keep them kind of discreet. Okay, let's close that, and now we need to start our browser. So now, instead of having a US IP address, I am now got a UK one because I'm connected to the IT uh, to the Identity Cloaker US UK server. <laughs> Beg your pardon. Right, so let's go to ITV Player again. We'll go to the same site here. We're on ITV. Little advert there, and we we were trying to watch Jeremy Kyle, weren't we? I don't say that very often, but uh, here we go. And now we can see, just buffers for a second, and then it's going to start streaming. And there we go. And it buffers usually for about 20 seconds when you first start it. And it won't buffer after that. And there's uh, ITV. You can see Jeremy Kyle interviewing some lady. I'm not sure what it's about, but anyway. So we stop there. Um, and that's all there is to it, really. You disconnect. You've got to remember you, you'll you have UK-based search results and things like that when you're connected to the UK server. But it's handy for, I don't know, if you... Uh, one, one of my friends uses it purely to um, put bets on because where he is, he can't access um, online betting. So he just uses his UK server and connects to his Betfair account. Um, I use it mainly for TV. So wherever I am, I can watch ITV, BBC, Channel 4, Channel 5... And, and as I said, I do use it for Netflix as well. Um, this is called Identity Cloaker. There's a discount code for the longer subscriptions, but it's best to try the 10-day trial first. Uh, make sure it works okay for you. There's Mac and PC versions. 
Uh, you have to ask them for the Mac version, but they really sort of focus on the PC version. But but again, as I say, it works on all the different devices. Just ask the support and they'll send you the instructions. Although I think they're in the members area as well. So that's it. Identity Cloaker um, for UK TV and watching ITV player. I hope that was useful. I'll finish there now. Thank you for watching.